tell me what's your strategy, what you are bringing here on purpose for the Asian market? Yeah. You say it's for the Asian market, it's not just for the Chinese market. So we, we really uh, bring it for, for a huge area in this part of the world. And we, we decided to um, focus on content. So it's not that we, you know, we're not trying to cater to the taste in any way, uh, which is kind of guessing. You think, you know, it used to be, or at the beginning of Basel, people were guessing what the Chinese might want to like and they would like this color or they would like that medium or yeah and uh, or form or this number or they don't like that number while that might be true we never done that really in any way so what we decided is we focus on content and we brought uh, the three artists that are represented in Venice this year uh, Mark Bradford who represents the United States in the pavilion mm -hmm. and it allows us to talk about his his uh, work and Philly de Barlow uh, who is representing the United Kingdom and we bring works by Philip Guston who is having a, a, a retrospective small retrospective at the Academia at the Museum Academia in Venice as well at the same time yes and and we feel in May during the Biennale and and this is what we wanted to do we wanted to talk about art we wanted to invite the Asian audience, our collectors, to Venice um, or encourage them to come because we don't want to talk about just about the market but about art. And it's a lot to do with education and that's, what we, that's why we chose what we chose. But, but Chinese new customers, because they are all new, new buyers, they're interested by well-known artists, right? Yeah. There, this is this is true. This is true everywhere. This was true in Miami, you know, uh, uh -huh. actually. Uh, and and but you do have an in, a, a sophistication that is growing in Hong Kong now at this fair, where there is curiosity for other things. However, you know, these artists are uh, well known. Uh, Mark Bradford is is well known in China. He had a museum show. Uh, at the Rockwood Museum, ah. a major, major show. So he's, uh, uh, and of course he has a strong secondary market, which always helps in China. People know the artists from the auctions, but uh, so he, he, we don't want to uh, create a bubble here for him. But it was because of the American Pavilion uh, that we decided to include him in this presentation. So he's very well known. Now Gaston is not well known here, although he's a giant in the West. Uh, we strongly feel that should change and we're talking to institutions in China, mainly in China, uh, and there's interest to do uh, museum shows. And I've just come back from, from, from uh, a road tour, a road trip there and we've been talking. There's a lot of interest in, if you would, would call lesser Chinese, lesser known artists in China. And uh, so, this, uh, the, the, the level of sophistication in this fair now, and in general by in the Chinese market, has, has dramatically changed. And this is almost completely different from three years ago. But it could represent very quickly a large percentage of your business? Um, the, who knows how the future looks? If I knew, I'd be uh, I'd be a collector, not a dealer. Uh, no, it, it's we see that our sales to China, in absolute terms, are still relatively modest. Uh, and that has to do with the complexity of our program. We have a very sculpture, strong sculpture-based program, uh, video, film. Um, and but we see them, you know, they almost they, you know, they grow by 50%, they grow by 100% over the last three years, four years. So it's growing, and and we hope and we feel that we can actually have relationship with the people because that's what we want. We we want to build collections. Uh, I can sell art anywhere. I don't need China to do that. But what I'm curious about, and our artists are curious about, is finding an art, a new audience in, in a, you know, we're taking a very long shot. And, that's, and that means building collections, finding institutional context, uh, 
have have museum shows coming up. You know, that's the kind of interest. And there's so many private there are private museums in China, private museums popping up, being under development that we cannot ignore it and don't want to and our artists want to uh, exhibit in this part of the world whenever possible and uh, they're very curious we brought 15 artists here to celebrate our 25 year anniversary it's a big effort right? it's a big effort but it's also a big you know it's a quarter century uh, that we exist as a gallery and that's what we're celebrating with uh, a number of them those who could come came and, uh, and we do this symbolically in China. I think it means a lot, and it means a lot to our Chinese friends that we do it here. We won't do it in Basel, Basel. We do it in Basel, Hong Kong.